Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today I want to show you how you can convert an MKV video file to an MP4. Why would you ever want to do that? Well, it turns out that most video editing software requires that a video file be in an MP4 format, so you might need to convert it for that reason. Or maybe you have some type of device that only plays MP4s and you can't play an MKV file. Whatever your reason, the good news is it's fairly easy to convert video file types. And this technique that I'm going to show today, not only can you convert from MKV to an MP4, but you could also use it to convert to other file types. Today we're going to use the VLC media player. The VLC player is by far one of my favorite media players. You don't have to download any codecs. It's free, it's open source, and it works extremely well. The great news is not only is it a very good media player, but you could also use it to convert video file types. So why don't we jump on the PC and I'll show you how we can convert files. Here I am on my desktop and I have an MKV video file it has the extension .mkv and I'd like to convert this into an mp4 how do I do that well as a first step let's open our web browser once you open your web browser, head to the website videoland.org. I've also included a link in the description of this video, so you can just click on there to navigate to this website. Once again, the great thing about VLC is this is free and open source. You could use it as a media player. You don't have to download any codecs at all. It also works across all different platforms. Whether you have Windows, Mac, or Linux, you'll be able to use the VLC media player. If you don't have VLC yet, click on the download VLC button and run through the installation process. Once you finish downloading the VLC media player, go ahead and launch it on your operating system. To convert a file within the VLC media player, let's go up to the top left hand corner and you'll see a menu for media. Let's click on that. Within the media menu, towards the bottom, there's an option for convert slash save. Let's click on that. Alternatively, you can also use the shortcut key Control and R at the same time. Once I click on convert, that opens up an open media prompt and right here I see file selection and we want to select the file that we want to convert. I'm going to click on add. When I click on add, this opens up the Windows file picker and I navigated to my desktop and I see my sample MKV file. I'm going to click on this and then click on open. I now see my file appear here within the file selection. All of these other settings right now look fine. Next, let's click on convert slash save. This opens up the convert dialog and at the top I could see the source file that I'm going to convert into another file format. Down below I have the setting to convert. I want to convert the file so I'm going to leave that selected. Under profile, this is where I can choose what type of file that I want to convert this into. If I scroll to the top of the list, I'll, I'll see things like MP4, AUG, and there are many different file formats that I could convert this file into. In fact, I could even convert it into an MP3 if I just wanted to extract the audio from the video file. Down at the bottom, I also have a number of preset options depending on what type of device I want to put on. Let's say, for instance, I want to put this video onto YouTube. I'm going to click on Video for YouTube HD. This will convert it into an MP4 file, but it'll be a little bit more compressed than perhaps one of the other MP4 options. All of this looks good so far, and now at the bottom I can choose the destination of where I want my MP4 file to appear. Let's click on Browse. When I click on Browse, this opens up the Windows File Selector, and I'm going to type in a name for this file. I'm going to call this Sample MKV Converted, and now click on Save. Here I see a destination file and it has the extension .mp4 now. Once I'm satisfied with all of my selections here, let's click on start. Now the conversion's in progress and you'll see the progress bar at the bottom showing how far along in the conversion we are. Now the conversion has completed. Here on my desktop, you see a new file for sample MKV converted. If I open up the properties, you'll see now that it's a .mp4 file. I'm gonna double click on the file and let's see how it works. 
This is a sample MKV video and I want to convert it to an MP4. How do I do that? And it looks like the file has been successfully converted from an MKV to an MP4. The VLC media player is a fantastic way to convert files. I want to show one additional way you can convert an MKV file to an MP4 and that's using an app called OBS or Open Broadcaster Software. If you've never heard of OBS before, you can get it at obsproject.com. Com. OBS is by far one of the most powerful screen recorders and I use it to record all of my screen recordings for this YouTube channel. To convert video files using OBS, go up to the file menu and then click on the option that says Remux Recordings. When you click on Remux Recordings, this opens up the Remux Recordings dialog. And here, let's click on the ellipses or the dot dot dot. This opens up the Windows File Picker and here I can select the MKV file and then click on Open. You'll see now that the target file shows an MP4 and now let's click on Remux. It's now finished remuxing my file and if we look over at the desktop, I now have an MP4 file from my MKV file. Here too, let's click on it to see if it worked. This is a sample MKV video and I want to convert it to an MP4. It looks like that also converted it successfully from an MKV to an MP4. So those are two different, very easy and free ways that you could convert an MKV file to an MP4. All right, well that was a quick look at how you could convert a video file from an MKV to an MP4. If you now know how to convert video files, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see future videos like this, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you wanna see me cover any other videos in the future, leave a comment down below and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. This video came from viewer suggestions like you. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.